Hey there everybody, my name is Luke Zeem and I'm an Australian HDR photographer. I shoot with a Nikon D800 and I sell my photography online through LukeZeem.com. Today what I want to share with everyone is a simple package of 75 Lightroom presets which is only 20 bucks and I use the presets when I'm stuck creatively. So here's my website same.com. If you go to tutorials, scroll down to my recommendations for DSLR and HDR photography. I've compiled a list of software, tools, photo hosting sites and guides so far that I've found have really been helpful to me and that I know work and that are great. So if you go under software, right here we've got trays, Lightroom, preset bundle. Click on that and it will send you directly to stuckincustoms.com and the actual Lightroom preset page. So there are four options, um, three packages and then bundled into one. So they're $10 each or the $20 for the three packages. So yeah, click on buy now will send you to a link where you'll be able to download a zip file and zip files are compressed files and if you've never used one before go to Google type in WinRAR hit enter and WinRAR is a uncompression and compression software program and the first one is rarlab.com slash download dot htm and that's the one you want to click select your language English 32 or 64 bit to install it just left click it and it will begin the download if you're not sure what type your computer is select 32 bit after you've installed that you go back to where your download came and it'll look like this right click it and extract here and this is the WinRAR option I've already done it and here are the two where you've got your Mac folder or your Windows folder. In the Windows folder, Trey and Stuck in Customs have already written out instructions exactly how to install them into your Lightroom. So go ahead and do that. When you go into Lightroom now and you want to develop an image, your list of presets will show up over here under Presets. So there they are, and each individual preset, which Trey has saved from his images already, is all there ready to go. And you just simply click on an individual one, and that will change the photo, given the settings that Trey has made. You see over here on the right. So I'll just edit a couple of images for you, show you how they work. And then I took a trip to Japan and this is from 55 stories up looking across Tokyo City. That's Tokyo Tower. Selecting one, say for example, Gritty Gritty Pop Pop. They give us really exciting names to all of his presets. <laughs> I think it'd be a hard thing to do though personally. I usually like go for the HDR presets because it came from a painting background and I just love that out there sort of imagery. Looking at this one, and the trees are not too dark, so I would probably know the clarity is what's doing that. I'll drop that down to get some more definition in the trees. I can tell that there is a graduated filter in the sky. Lift it up a bit, up the exposure on that. Yeah, that will do for now. Maybe increase the highlights. Add my own graduated filter now that I think about it. On this area down here. I would like to increase the exposure. And increase the highlights. Yeah, maybe look at the shadows a bit. Just want to lift it up a little bit more to get more of it in. 
And that's a quick easy edit on Tokyo Tower. You can see the before and after. I knew there was already a lot of information in this raw file because of the time of day I shot it. It was like 5.30 p.m. The sky was a lot more gold showing up here, so effectively I've just sort of drawn out the data that was already in the file. Set it another quick photo. This is two kimono girls that I saw at Kiyomitsu Temple in Kyoto. And yeah, Kyoto was an amazing place to visit. I recommend it for everyone. I want this photo to look more traditional, so I would go for this one, Analog Days. Again, little adjustments and changes to the settings that Trey's already done. It's all too dark here and there's no definition. Increase the shadow. It's all blown out here, so we will drop the highlights. Looking at the colour, drop the blue down, it's not necessary. But what I want to do is increase the pinks and purples to bring out that dress. Looking at the split toning, this one a sort of a cool pink. Change the balance towards that area. Going to the region shadows, I want to increase those just to bring out some of the definition in the background. And to give it that old time photo look, give the image a bright vignette. There we go. And that's how to purchase, download, install and use Trey Ratcliffe's Lightroom presets. I hope you enjoy. I'll put all the links below. Thanks. Alright, uh, visit my site for more info on HDR photography or purchase prints or canvas. Just follow the links below. Come have a look, drop a comment or if you want to contact me, the contact details are up the top. Thanks. Cheers everyone. Uh, enjoy the presets. I hope it's all helped and it will just make your photography so much better.